Welcome to Jethro's Garage. Hope y'all are having a great day. Thanks for coming in here and uh, sitting with me for a minute. Grab a cold drink, pull up a chair, and y'all let's talk for a little bit. Beaver. I got the fever for a beaver. No, no I don't. <laughs> they are a brand I have seen on Amazon and bounced around from different reviews for the past probably six months, maybe, maybe a year, maybe a year. Um, I've seen some videos where people looked into them and, and it seems that they're a company that really just puts their names on stuff. Um, kind of a rebrander and seller, I don't know, but you find their name on all kind of stuff. Uh, they're a bit of a cheap tool. Um, as in the case of this, but these seem to be okay. So y'all come on up here and let's talk about these for a minute. So here's what, we, what we've got. We've got the Beaver Impact Socket Set, the three quarter inch Chrome Molly, three quarter inch or two and a half inch in sizes. So it's three quarter inch drive size, just so you'll know. Three quarter inch uh, socket size all the way to two and a half. 181 bucks. Now that may seem like a lot, seem like a lot, but let's look at this kit. This is a big kit, and it has a lot going to it. Now, I've only used one or two out of here, and I bought it mainly so I would have a complete kit. Let me show you what I was working with prior to this. This is my big stuff drawer. Um, pretty much, Half of this going this way is SAE, and some of this going this way is metric. Um, so as of right now, with this kit I just bought, I've got a pretty decent full set of SAE, but my metric's still lacking. Um, but I didn't have everything I needed, and I didn't have everything I needed in uh, impact. So... I bought this. Now there's some good sockets in here, like this one. This is a, this one's a Napa, which isn't too bad, and it's a two and a quarter. Uh, this is a Mac, two inch. Here is a Mac, inch and seven eighths. I have a lot of these that are just, you know, chrome, and while chrome is great, it's not uh, great to put on impact. Here's a Proto, inch and nine sixteenths. Now, if you wonder how I've got them like this, well, I find them in toolboxes and I gather them up. <laughs> Let's see, what is this one? This is a 46 millimeter SK in half inch drive <laughs> and a 46 millimeter proto and three quarters. The thing is, look up the price on one of those uh, impact sockets. Look up the price on this Napa two and a quarter inch and see how many of those it takes to, to buy this $181 kit. I'm, I'm almost willing to bet it doesn't take many of them. So let's look at this kit. So three quarter, all the way to two and a half. Like I was saying, I, I just, I didn't have the socket I needed. And finally I just bought this set and I had tried pulling this, uh, 
bush hog apart with uh, everything big I had. I just didn't have the right socket. So I tried a crescent wrench. I tried a uh, pipe wrench. And I got some big ones. Uh, where's my pipe wrench? Uh, there's my pipe wrench. It ain't no small guy. It's a heavy duty uh, rigid. Let's see, what's it, 24 inch? Yeah, I couldn't get it. Uh, I think my, uh, my crescent's only 18 inches. I could be wrong. Let's see. Yeah, 18 inches the uh, biggest crescent wrench I got. Unless it's hiding around here somewhere on me. So I needed something bigger than I had. So I bought this kit. And it, when I got the kit and I grabbed my uh, three quarter inch Milwaukee, it come off no problem but I struggled with it for hours and hours. So the kit's pretty decent. I mean, I don't know how much I'll use it. I don't know when I'll break the first piece, but I'm willing to bet I'll make my money back off of it. So let's look at this a little bit. There's some, there's some schmoo in here. Let me get her some bigger there. There's some schmoo in here. I don't know what this is. Probably some cancer-causing agent from China, but the uh, the broaching looks pretty decent. It's kind of uh, it's got some ridges in here. Let me see if I can get a light and show y'all. Okay, let's get it up here. So see the lines in there? That's interesting. Um, let's look at a higher quality socket and see if the broaching on it's like that. So I was looking for two things. I was looking for something that was clean and I was looking for something that hadn't been used and abused. This is a Curtis Wright, so a little bit older of a socket. Um, it doesn't have that, you know, off angle deal, uh, but you can tell it hasn't been used much. And look in there, and it, the broaching is clean. Uh, I can see a little bit of striations in this side but honestly that looks like where a socket has been on it i mean it's been on a actual bolt head or something well maybe maybe i can see a little bit of the striations in this one let's look at this snap on which has been used so this is newer And of course, I think the broaching looks better on this. Of course, it's been used a considerable amount, but there are no striations on it. Uh, I'm not sure what that matters. I think I'm picking up a different one. See, this one isn't as bad. Sorry about this light. Let me try a different. See if that flickers with me. Yeah, it's not flickering nowhere near as much. The striations ain't so bad in this socket. And but you can see them in the corner right here. Where uh, it's hard to hold two things at once. Let me see something. So, 
There we go. See these little ridges, all these little bitty fine lines going down through here? That's what I'm talking about. And it's probably just uh, not keeping their uh, tools nice and sharp and changing them out. Um, and they certainly didn't clean these out so well. Uh, there's some stuff down here in the bottom. And all of that is, it looks kind of unfinished down there. So that's probably kind of how they uh, keep costs down on this. So other than that, it's got a decent chamfer here. Um, the fit and finish looks decent. Let's get some measurements on one of these. Uh, let's do some hole sizes. We'll do two inches. Okay, uh, I guess it yeah. That don't seem right. Oh, that's an inch and a half. How did I grab, why did I think I was grabbing the two inch? So inch and a half should be 1.5. And it is 1.508, which isn't bad. Okay, hold on. Yep, 1.508. Let's try two inch. And it is 2.029. Still not bad, not bad at all. Uh. Inch and three quarter, which should be 1.75. Not bad, two hundredths or 23 hundredths off. Or, well, yeah, 23 hundredths, or there's 26 hundredths. So the sizes seem to be pretty decent on these. Uh, this case is heavy though. Let me close it up. I think we're, let's look, let's see just a second. Yeah, not a whole lot of difference in this and you know, it looks okay. Maybe I need to get me a light on my, um, you want those ring lights, you know, that all the, all the bl uh, video bloggers have? Let me back y'all up. Be a superstar. That's if I had me a, a ring light. Um, yeah. I'm gonna tell you the bad thing about this kit, and it's probably the same with any of them, but Lord, it's heavy. Now look, I think it's only 55 pounds or something like that. Woo, about gave myself a hernia trying to put it up here. Uh, yeah, but hey, if I was a heavy equipment mechanic, I'd probably still buy this. And then I would buy the ones that I used the most after that. I imagine these would last you for a minute. Look, my dad was a heavy equipment mechanic and he used whatever he could get his hands on. And there was some, a lot of off-brand stuff in his box. 
he did he got by with what he could get by with because if you work in a shop and you're a heavy heavy equipment person some of them have the bigger stuff and if they don't man it's expensive off the truck i mean it is it can get up there so dad did what he did um by the time i got his tools he didn't have a whole lot of big stuff left anyway. I, I don't know where it all went, but he, he just didn't. His, he didn't have a whole lot of the big wrenches, and he didn't have a whole lot of the big sockets left. I've got a three-quarter inch drive Napa that, you know, ratchet, but that's, you know, that's the it, you know. It, there was a few sockets, don't get me wrong, but wasn't much. This right here might help you save you a little bit of money and get you through some jobs until you can afford to buy those specific ones that you need. With that being said, thank you all for uh, hanging out with me. Uh, look, these ain't everybody's cup of tea, but I guarantee you they're going get, to get you through something. So y'all take care. If you don't mind, smash that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe and share me with your friends. They might need this and, you know, you never know. You might help them out. Thank y'all. Take care of each other and y'all have a blessed week.